Oh shit, okay, um, uh, welcome back to Tom Ward's channel. Uh, you're about to watch the podcast. I hope you enjoy it. There's some juicy stuff in there, some fun stuff in there. Uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy. I want to give a special shout out to this week's sponsor, Pet Canva. Check them out on Instagram, at MyPetCanva, and check them out on their website, PetCanva.com. And they make specialty products for that special pet in your life. They make cell phone cases, they make uh, really cool canvas paintings you could put on the wall, they make blankets, they make mugs. Um, so check them out, really cool stuff. They have free shipping on all orders over $75. So check them out, at MyPetCanva on Instagram and PetCanva.com. Thanks, guys. Sitting here with Zane Hijazi. Hey guys, how are you doing? Looking at all three cameras. It's kind of intimidating. It is. We got these boom mics. We got this lav mic. Hopefully, this is good. This is gonna sound like shit. So I is I, it good? Oh yeah, because my voice is so loud. Every time, like when, when we when we do our podcast, like it it gets so loud. Just don't touch it. Don't scratch <laughs> I it. I won't touch it. You see, guys, I'm not good at this. Yeah, I'm not it's, good at this. it's bad. Okay, all right. Are you focused? Are you feeling very zen right now? I am. I'm, I, I think I had too much coffee, so I'm a little jittery. Oh, nice. But we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I had I'm a not... coffee and an energy drink. I'm all jacked up. Oh, whoa. You see, I can't do that. That's, no? I get, like, real anxious when I drink that much. Like, do you caffeine. really? Oh, yeah. It calms so, me down, kind of. Exactly. Well, I can only drink Sometimes. that much when I'm hungover. When I'm hungover, I could drink a lot, uh, yeah, yeah. and I'll feel like myself again. But, like, when I drink it, when I'm sober, I just get, like, weird. Get all jacked up. Yeah. Sweaty. Uh, well, you seem sweaty. good. You seem Thank calm. You, you seem you. good. I'm trying. I'm trying. Congrats on the podcast. I got some stats here. Thank Unfiltered, you. number one in comedy, number three overall. I think after your first week, right? After the first week, yeah. Okay. But honestly, I think it's the. <laughs> I always put myself down. What? I always it's the algorithm. So like when when number podcast one. see I know, but when podcast like when podcast sees like this new podcast yeah, yeah. up with no like viewers or no subscribers, and then it's like does a like bunch. a little well. I think in their head or in the system, it's like holy shit, number one. We got to put in number one because they're new. But um, but now we're like at number seven, which is still pretty good in for, comedy. Yeah, in comedy, dude, that's strong. That's Who, still really good. We're like we're we're sitting around like Chelsea Handler and um, and Joe Rogan and for real, the, yeah. So it, it does look really good. Like wow. seeing us up there, like it's it's nice. It feels to, good to be in the same category as Joe Rogan yeah. and OG. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. So it's it's been it's been fun, and we we've, we've had so much fun doing it too. You know, we're still getting the groove of it. You know, trying to like, there's all these rules for podcasting and what kind yeah, of rules do you mean? Ah, uh, like you have to like w whenever you're talking about something, you have to like kind of stay on topic. Don't veer too far off of where you're talking about. And if you do, make sure you come back uh, in a short amount of time. This is this is this is shit that like my friend Matt like always has to tell us while we're doing it, and it's oh, it's so like it's so uh, nerve wracking because you you want to give him like a natural podcast, but at the same yeah. time you don't want to like be too off topic about shit or like be jumping too around. ADD. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But then again, I feel like people who are listening and watching, they know how we talk. Yeah. So they're kind of just used to it. So so you torn like give the fans what they want and then I also got to listen to Matt over here. Exactly, like, exactly. Because Matt, so Matt can be really like judgmental about that and I, that freaks me out. I'm yeah. just, like he's always back, I'm, like behind the camera just like, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm good. And we're talking about something, and we want to talk about this. And he's like, I know, but it's boring. I'm like, fuck, oh, okay. okay so, does he let you talk and then cut that stuff he later? Does, no, he does. He does. He does let us talk. Because it's distracting if somebody just interrupts. It. it he's not. No. It's, oh, all right. No. I mean, to us, like, we're not too strict on how we do it. Like, if something happens behind the camera, like something happens, yeah, yeah. we we take advantage of that. Like to that, that's funny. Fuck ups are always funny. Oh, yeah. So if the entire podcast is a giant fuck up, the the our sound is awful, the videos are like bad quality. To us, that's that's even better because yeah. people are tuning in for fucked up like dumb shit like that. They don't want to so, see a slick, well produced, exactly. National Geographic type video. Exactly, and that's what we wanted to do. We, like at first, we we're like we wanted to get this modern furniture. We really wanted to make it high end and we're like what the fuck are we doing like this is not us so we just got like the ugliest couch we could find i love the, the intro i love the intro the the um the, the intro to, to the, the podcast oh, the, the audio yeah 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 bruce bruce wegner bruce I, I, that's my that's my friend i still don't know his last name bruce wegner <laughs> he is a great song producer mm -hmm. um whenever you need something produced okay go to him. He's, he's the guy great. yeah he did that shit in like an hour for real I swear. yeah he's He's, he's effortless, ever, effortlessly. He's so good at what he does. Nice. Yeah.
I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You're talking about the ugly couch in the set. Yeah, ugly couch. Yeah, um, the the top, the the middle, it opens up. There's these lights. It has these fucking outlets. It's and we got those outlets specifically because when we get like a cure, when, whenever we get a cure, we're gonna put it in the middle. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have our coffee under there. So you're gonna see this giant <laughs> fucking coffee machine in the middle. It's gonna be really funny. You're not but. gonna do like a cool, elaborate background. With, um, but, you should put that Nate, Jason Nash picture that's in your living we room. We should, but we need that's to dope. have one of me and Heath behind us. Yeah, with yeah, that, yeah. Because that neon light sign is really like is really bright. Yeah. So we do need to figure out like what uh, what. What what ways we can make it more fun or lively in the back? Oh, okay. But uh, we're loving that neon light sign. I surprised Heath that before we started our podcast, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, we love it. That's like kind of our main logo right now for like the podcast and everything. So it's it's cool. Are you gonna do merch with that stuff? Um, yeah, we are. We are doing oh, merch nice. with that. That's actually it's actually about to come out like okay. next week. So when that's out, we'll post we'll, Thursday. We'll, can can we'll we talk you- about that yet or no? <laughs> what? It's we're gonna post this Thursday. So. Okay. Is yeah, it cool to sure. talk about it now? Of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Let, Fanjoy, let or where is it working? Uh, Fanjoy, yeah. Okay, give yeah. Him, I gotta give him a shout out. Let it rip, Fanjoy, baby. Nice. <laughs> they have the whole vlog squad, right? They, uh, almost, almost. almost? I, we, uh, Scott's also has a couple people. Okay. Uh, he has his own merch company too, both great. Um, but uh, a little competition, but uh, hey, we're all friends here, so yeah. it's, it's fine. Dude, I interviewed David, and when we got done, we did it at his house. When we got done, he had you know that pool table. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's still there, but yeah, it's still there. when you come yeah. out. He had, I guess, his merch people, and he had like all these jackets and shirts. Yeah, out, they, laid they, out. they bring him boxes of merch. I swear to God, I, I see like 10 different designs every, uh, do you? every other week. And he asked and, me, he's like, Do you like ones? He did the same thing. He's yeah. like, Do you like one or the other? I'm like, I don't know. I like this one. Like, what do I know? Yeah. He told me, I asked, because I, I, I always wonder, and uh-huh. I'm sure your fans wonder too, yeah. like, how do they make money? Is it YouTube? Is this? So I asked him, like, ballpark, not asking your finances, uh-huh. but like, how much merch do you sell? Yeah. He told me what he sold Thanksgiving, like that Wednesday to uh-huh. that Cyber Monday. Yeah. I almost fell out of my fucking yeah, chair. Yeah, no, he he does really, really, really <laughs> well in merch. Like, if it, like it's funny because like when people when people want to buy merch and they watch me, they watch Heath, they watch Scotty, they I feel like they don't really buy that merch. They buy uh David's merch because when you buy David's merch, you're buying the Vlog Squad merch. Yeah. So I I, I just think that's really funny. Like whenever you see like I see everybody in clickbait merch. Like every time oh, I go yeah. somewhere, I always see somebody in clickbait merch. So I was, I've got a four-year-old daughter, and I took her to the park the other day, and yeah. I saw these two like twelve-year-old girls with clickbait sweatshirts. I was like, "David Dobrik fan?" She goes, "Oh my! Like who? How does this old guy know who David Dobrik exactly. is?" I'm like, "I know what's up." I know. It's like a brand. Like you, you see as much as you see like Ruka or yeah. like. Uh, Volk, Volk, I'm coming up with like skate, skateboard brands. <laughs> but it's just like, a, it's a brand now. Yeah. You just want, you see it as much as any other brand now. What is the Mad Happy? Is that a brand? Um, Yeah, it's a, I, I feel, I think they're a new brand, like a okay. recently new brand. Um, I love that their, their clothes are awesome. I love their hats, their sweatshirts, their shirts. They fit okay. me really nicely. Wow, so brand new? Uh, brand, brand new what? Brand deal? Are you working oh, with those no, guys? No, no, Oh, nice. I just, no, I just like their, I like their stuff. Yeah, oh, nice. It's good quality stuff. Um, it's fine. It's it's hard to find uh, clothes that fit me. Why? Because I I don't know. I just have this odd shaped body. I'm always between a large and an extra large, and like they, it just never fits me right. Okay. So like I end like when I put on the wash, it just shrinks. I can't wear it anymore. Yeah. But that, that this brand, <laughs> we're talking about this brand for a long time. I know. We'll have a certain <laughs> website and Instagram <laughs> page right here. Your description is gonna be fucking yes. full of shit oh, today, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. It feels like a giant like five brand deal podcast. But maybe today. this can lead to a brand, you know, possible collab, a exactly, brand deal. Yeah, and I would yeah. like a little portion for brokering the deal. I, that's a, I think that's a great idea. So Noah, if we're not happy, hit me up. Let's, yeah, let's, do let's something. go work together. Yeah. You know? So Zane, how did you get your start? How did I get my star? Well, Jeff, did you fucking tell him to do this to me? <laughs> Shout um, out to the Vlog Squad Reddit. I asked like questions like, which, which I asked Zane, I'm interviewing tomorrow. Yeah. And that was the first one by far. <laughs> yeah. So that, how'd you get your star? I got so Vine. What, what's, Vine. The, what's the story behind that? Why is that funny to everybody? It's, I don't know. I honestly, they I said think it was it's the way the he Jeff's says it. barbershop. Yeah. It's a running joke. Yeah. Oh, so okay. the first time he cut my hair on the show, he, I think just like the first five minutes, he was just like, because obviously he wants to learn who I was or where yeah, I came yeah. from. So he's like, so how'd you get your start? And he just kept repeating it. And I didn't know how to answer it at one point because I was just like, why? Is was it awkward? Saying? No, it wasn't awkward because uh, we were kind of friends before we did yeah, it. But yeah. on the episode, I wanted to make it seem like I didn't know who he mm-hmm. was because just to make it seem, I don't mm-hmm. know, it would be more fun to watch. Mm-hmm. And I, like, 
so I, I, I made myself believe that like this was a random guy. So I was just like, he keeps asking me the same <laughs> question. Stop asking me the same question. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. So, yes. So uh, yeah, so I, that's really fun. He's, it's, I feel like that's still an ongoing joke though, me and him. Yeah, uh, your fans, says, they love yeah. it. They know yeah. the guitar. Which so great. that's for you guys. Make merch, Jeff. I don't know why Jeff hasn't made merch. I keep looking at all three cameras. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> oh no, that's you right there. That's me right there. Okay, Wide shot gonna, and then big. Perfect. So all right, look there, yeah, right there. All right, I'm gonna stay looking there. <laughs> Just creepily, creepily look there. And like I said, we're not gonna edit this, so I know, I know, this is gonna the, be really hard to watch. Did you just say watch. leaving mistakes in is good? Um, so I'm trying to learn from you. You're no, a you're big right. famous YouTuber. You know what? You, what do I know? You're, you're completely right. So yes, leave everything in. Yes. Everything in. Every stutter, every fuck. If I may talk about somebody I'm not supposed to talk we about. We just spend five minutes talking to a brand you don't leave even it. work with. Exactly. Yes, yeah, just free advertising. <laughs> Why the fuck not? You, you see, that's, I'm, I'm just not good at this and that's okay. No, you know? you're very good. But you got your start, sir. See how I did it? I brought it all the way back. All the you way see, back. I'm following you the rules. It again. Why is your this boy guy would be very happy. <laughs> your boy would be very happy. Yeah. Your producer. Exactly. See, you get off track, you bring it all the way back. Exactly. You got your start. You're a Viner. Yeah. Right? And you and Heath, you guys met in high school? Yeah, we we met we met in high school. We weren't really friends in high school. We kind of we, I heard. We didn't, yeah, we didn't like each other in high school. It was really funny. And towards the end of it, we were like, we always sat next to each other because our last, because they said they always set up seats with our last names. Oh yeah. So we always we're always together because of our last names. Oh, Jossie, yeah. Hussar, like alphabetical. Okay. So we kind of we started like we we're like, oh okay, cool. Hey, what's up, man? It, it, it was very like very small talk. It was nothing more than that. And then why didn't um, you like him? I don't know. I really don't know. It just didn't. It just never worked. But Maybe it because we were the event. same person. It was, it's because we were the same person. That's why. Let's leave it. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. And um. So what brought you together? Was there a moment? Yeah, where there, you guys connected. There was a moment. So in college, um, did you go to the same night, college? I'm sorry to interrupt. But we, did, uh, we did. We uh, did. We did go to the same college. Yeah, oh, there wasn't okay. a lot of college. In the, like there was one really one community college in our area. Okay. That everybody that after high school, if they weren't in FAU or yeah. Miami, they went to this so community hard. college. So um, we we're in we we're in college, or no, this was before college. I think this was like the summer before college. Yeah, and um. One day we're all out bowling and it was his friend group and my friend group we were there separately, like, but just happened to be the same night. Yeah. And we ended up like merging the groups and um, Heath and I, we like came together and he, he he just asked if I wanted a cigarette outside. I was like, sure. Did you smoke? Yeah, well, I did. I did a lot. Like he he smoked and it got me into smoking and I, I didn't smoke a lot. It was just like casually here so and sure. there, with, mainly with him though. Like I wouldn't smoke by myself, but that was just, this was like the start of it. Um, but uh, he invited me to go fishing one day, and I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. I didn't have a lot of friends, so it was like a big deal for me, kind of. So um, I went fishing with him. We had a lot of fun. We drank a little bit. We were, like, fishing. <laughs> and then— Growing down. Yeah, growing down. And then um, and then it got to a point where we'd, he'd— Like, we'd only, we'd only hang out if we were going fishing. And then, and then I started going— Or smoking. Going, or smoking. You were smoking, yeah, fishing. Or that was your connection. Smoking. What did, would you smoke and fish? Together? Yeah, yeah, smoke time. and fish. Yeah, right. like smoke, it was like cigarettes. Yeah, right. not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, not I know, anything I know. else, yeah. And, um, and yeah, and then we just started hanging out. We became really close, and we went to, we went, to, we started taking classes together in college, and it was around that time where Vine came out, and we started, we started Vining, and that's how it started. What made you start Vining? Um, I mean, you, you said he's the class clown. You are obviously funny. I mean, I don't buy that you I, weren't the class clown. You're a funny I, I dude. Was, I, I guess I was funny, like, within our group for, like group of friends. But, like, I was never, like, out loud funny. Like, I, I didn't—I was always too afraid to bring, like, to be the center of attention around a bunch of people. Because, again, I was, like— I, I've, what's, what do you, Who do you call the kid that's, like, very— like, he, like, nobody in the school talks to him. He's, like, just, like, the low— like, the just the flower. outcast, just the outcast. Yeah, like yeah. me and a couple of people, we're the outcasts. We we never we were never invited to parties. Mm-hmm. We were never invited to hang out with anybody in that school. So like, so it was kind of hard to be that outspoken in that type of school. So, but like w- when Vine came out, when Vine came out, we we're vining. It really, it it allowed me to be like this the center of attention almost, but like in a, in a, in a good way, in a humble way, not like crazy, like, Oh, look at me, but just kind of like comfortable with myself and like more confident. So, um, so that helped me a lot. So if you weren't, I think to me, I'm not a vlogger. I think that's the scariest thing ever. Yeah. Doing a vine by yourself, you know, with the camera out. I, to me, that's way scarier than being in class and cracking a joke. It, well, I mean, it was easier because you don't really see the faces of people watching your stuff. Oh. You're, you're filming, you're filming vines with your friend. 
you both laugh, you post it, and, and that's it. Like, you don't yeah, really, true. you read the comments, but like, you don't put faces to these comments, you know? What, what was kind of like, what started getting weird was seeing our friends watch it. And then that almost was kind of like, some of them were making fun of it. Some of them wow. like liked it. So it was like, we were in Florida. So like a lot of people weren't like really about those type of like videos, like funny skits. Like they just, I don't know. It just, it was, it was kind of weird, but like, we, um, Where'd you grow up in, in Florida? Uh, we grew up in uh, Plantation, Florida. So Florida, I know Florida a little bit. Yeah. You, you think, and if you're from Ohio or something, maybe you think Florida can either be like real rich and chic, kind of like the Miami vibe, or it can be super rednecky kind of too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Were you, and, did you grow up in a lot of camo d- d- and trucks? No, no, I was around that a lot, but I was never really into that. But, but I, that was in that I was in that area. I was in that area, yeah. It was like a very, uh, it was very like, um, a hipster. I'd say. Oh, really? Back then, it was called like emo slash scene, but now I would say like a little hipster. It was rednecky. It was. Um, it was really those two worlds. That's it. And like, and we were in between like Boca, where it was like all just like rich people, and then Miami, where it was like a Miami people. But yeah. so we were in that like, in that scene between where it was like rednecky and. Oh, okay. That. And so it was interesting. And you're Muslim too, right? Or your dad is. Yeah, my, my yeah, your like my family. White. So like, it's weird because my like half my family is is Muslim and yeah. half my family are Christian. Okay. So I was ba- constantly bouncing back and forth between religions, and it's completely different religions. Oh yeah. So having it live like like that was kind of rough for me because I didn't know because both believe in different things. Like yeah. it's whatever is a sin here, it's not a sin here. Whatever is a, uh, not a sin here is a sin here. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's hard to really kind of. Uh, can I eat bacon today? What? It's like, can I eat bacon today? Yeah, yeah. Mom's like, saying yes, dad's saying no. Exactly. Right? So like, to me, like living in both of those worlds all my life, it's, it's, in my head is like, hey, as long as you're a good person, yeah. you're fine. Sure. Like, w- like whatever you want to drink or eat, like what is it going to do to you, do to you to be completely honest? Just like be a good fucking person. Yeah. You'll be fine. Is your dad like pretty religious? Yeah, yeah, I'd say he's pretty religious. Because I'm in a similar situation. I'm raising our kids like that because I'm, you know, I grew up Catholic and my yeah. wife's Muslim. Yeah. So we've got kids that are they're oh, going to kind of oh, you're in the they're same. Gonna be, they're going to be like you. They're, they're in the same position like, as me. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, I mean, is she is she like strict? No, her parents came over from Afghanistan, so they grew up in a Muslim country where yeah. that, that's everybody's Muslim. So uh-huh. that's kind of how you grow up. The kids, though, so her mom prays five times a day and everything. Yeah. But all the kids. We grew up in LA, so they're just, you know, they, they don't eat pork, but they don't pray five times a day. They're kind of like yeah. casual Muslims. Oh, I guess. okay, okay. So, Sorry yeah, that for make, throwing you guys on the bus. <laughs> no, no, that definitely makes it a lot, I w- not easier, but um, that would that would have been easier to work with from my situation if like oh, that. Really? Because, yeah, because it was just both was so opposite. Oh, you know? yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. As a kid, like trying to grow up listening to daddy, listening to mommy, it was just, it was, I was, it was almost like tug of, tug of war, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, um, but like, but both really kind of just let me, they were both, they both respected what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, in the end, in, in the end of the day. Of course, so. they love you, you're their yeah, son. Exactly. Do they give, like, my wife won't, her mom knows she drinks, but she won't openly drink in front of her. Yeah. Are you like that with your dad? Does he, like, see your videos and go, like, see you party and um, go, like, come on, son? It's, I mean, yeah, obviously you have to respect, um, like you respect your parents, you know, sure. whatever. You don't want to like, because if you do it in front of them, whatever they want, don't want to see if you do it in front of them, you're just, you, it, it, I feel like that's the most respectful thing you can yeah, do yeah, with yeah. your parents. Fuck you, mom, so, when you're doing shots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just not, it's not, it's not cool. So yeah, I try to, I obviously try to do my best to, um, to be the best in their eyes. I don't, I don't know if that's weird or not. Well, you want to make your parents proud. Who doesn't? Yeah, what no, no, they- exactly. And this is like, this is my first time opening up about this. You've never I'm, talked about this? I look at your no. videos and, because I was interested like, because I didn't know kind of what part of Florida you yeah. grew up in, and I'm guessing there's probably not a lot of Muslim people there. Are no, there? no, there. I mean, oh, there, there are. are. I, mean, okay. I feel like there's Muslims everywhere. Yeah, true. In every state, there's there's Muslims, but um, it all. But you're the they're the minority. Exactly. So I don't yeah. know if you got like I was curious when I was watching your videos stuff. Like I haven't heard you talk about it. Like did you get yeah. a hard time? No, I no? no. I just um, did your did your sister? Get I a don't hard talk. Time? I don't talk about it honestly because. I don't like to bring, I mean, religion, religion, sure, sure. politics, yeah, anything yeah. like that. It's always, it's always a, a two, what do you call it? Like 50% of the people are going to agree with it. 50% are yeah, not. Yeah, sure. So I, I'd rather not see that in the comments. Like I, I just, I, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. want to like, I only no, want to make no. people laugh and entertain and like, that's all I want. Yeah, honestly. yeah, I got you. So 
you're, you're vining. Like, how quick was your success? You know, you and Heath are in, in community college doing it. Um, I don't know what's quick or not, but I know, like, definitely. Vine because right? vine, vine is different because, like, you, um, there wasn't a lot of people making, like, video, like, skit type videos on the app. So when people found us, they're like, oh, these guys are one of the, one of the few that do this. So we did gain kind of a track, uh, 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 we did gain a following in the beginning. And once we got to like 50,000, it started like, it was like a snowball effect. And we, but we were, we were constantly posting. We were, that was like our priority. Like our jobs weren't our priority. Uh, nothing else was School. our priority, but, but making vines and making videos. And because people loved it, people were like leaving comments. They're like, make more, make more. And we didn't like, we didn't see really a future like, in that world, we just knew that we loved making videos and this is what we wanted to do, whether we were getting paid for it or not. And we weren't paid for it for a long time while doing that. So that's why I really appreciate where we are now because it wasn't like, it was never about money. It was never about like fame or nothing. It was just about having fun. And it was, I was doing it with my best friend. So it was like, it was a really cool way to do it. Mm -hmm. Could you yeah, imagine? Really authentic. Like I just pulled up here. You've got a beautiful house. Yeah. You know, you've got an assistant who yeah. I met. Like, you, going back to you and Zane making, yeah. like, silly vines, could yeah. you ever imagine this no, coming absolutely from not. that world? And every day, we, me and my friends, we all always talk about it. Me, David, Heath, we, like, we're, we'll just be sitting somewhere. We're just like, isn't this fucking crazy? It and is. It, it's, it, it, like, this will never be, this will never be old. This, this will never get old to us. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane. And, like, obviously, we're so grateful. Like, it wouldn't, if it wasn't for, like, all the viewers, the fans, the little coffee beans. It, it, it just, we wouldn't, we would not be here. And we always, we always, always um, see that. We always understand that. So it's, it's, it's awesome. It's really cool. And it's cool to see too, because so you're in Florida, you're going to community college, doing your thing. Yeah. Um, you graduated. Were, were you a hospitality major? Um, or? Yeah. No. It, it, or, yes. Isn't that what you ended up graduating? I always, in? I always say yeah, no. Like I always oh. say no when I'm talking to somebody. Yeah, like yeah. I'm disagreeing. Uh, yes, I was uh, in. Uh, <laughs> My major was hospitality because I was I used to work as a travel director. Okay. I don't know if that's the name of it, but like, def, uh, I was uh, I was a person in airports where I would like hold signs and that, like where if like imagine Best Buy wanted to send their best salesmen or salespeople out to Miami, Florida to have a fun weekend. They would hire us to make to like basically uh, take people to like their activities back to the hotel to dinner back to the hotel like make, like gather everybody on the bus making sure everybody is like. Uh, taken care of, and when they're done, we are, we're at the airport sending them to their plane. Okay, so you're hurting Best Buy salespeople all day. Yeah, ba basically, but like different, <laughs> Other things, but, but yeah, different yeah. companies every every sure. week. So that was my main job, and it was a really good job too. And that's why I I've, that's why I was able to do vines a lot because I had such a good job. And when I was done with that job, I was making enough money where I could like do this on the side a lot. Oh, okay, so, and you were living at home at the time, or I was living at home, so I was able to save. I wasn't really spending money on anything else, but like. Maybe food here and there, but that's it. Oh, okay. And, my, like, and my, my family at the time, they just did not get it. They're like, how the hell is this happening? Like, what? You're, you're making $200 off of, uh, of making a vine. What, what are you doing? Is this legal? And because they, they, had, they, they didn't even know what like Instagram was or Twitter. So they just didn't know what the hell we were doing. So, uh, so yeah, it, it's fun being that generation where we got to really start with social media. Yeah. And yeah. You know, going from Vine, I mean, they get it now. What do they think of the whole thing now? Um, I mean, now they get it. I mean, I feel like there will always be a little ounce of not really understanding what we yeah. do. But they do get it now. And they're, they, all my entire family, both sides, like, fully support me. Mm -hmm. They love what I do. They help as much as they can. Um, my, like, my dad and my son mom are always like, but hey, dad, like, film with the diet. Like, my little sister. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fun seeing, like, how much people want to be in the videos. And yeah. It, makes your job so much easier when you can like you know make just make videos all the time and like be a, as authentic as possible and you don't have to like fake for the camera or anything so hey, your sister's great too i was watching she's her. great yeah first of all her intro is better than yours yeah her in the videos is great like she she's so funny she's it, like just a natural yeah and i you know i wish she could make more video i wish she could do YouTube videos because I think she'd be great at it but does she want to do that like as a career or is she like she elsewhere? wants she wants to but like you know she she can't do it on her own and like like I mean I, I'm and I'm in the same boat like I can't do this on my own either like I can't set up a camera and do a whole video on my by myself that's just not my have like, you tried that 
I've tried doing that. I can't. I just can't do it. No. It's it, it's really hard to do it. It's, it's a really, special talent. It is a special talent. Like, and anybody that can do that, like I give them props. Like they're, I because I can never do that. Yeah. It's like I interviewed Emma Chamberlain, and uh-huh. she like has built a whole career on that. Like a little yeah. girl. Like it is tough looking at the camera and like be able to keep stay on track, stay interesting. Yeah. Stay funny, like I don't know how you how you even do that. I, yeah, I don't know either. It's it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to be funny on your own. When did you connect with other David vi- and other big viners? Um, this is well, we like we came out to visit from Florida like a couple times here and there. We'd meet up with viners that we would like we DM on like the Vine app, and we'd meet up and we'd meet like a bunch of people, and then um, it got to and it got to the point where we just ended up moving out there, and. Um, we we're hanging with certain viners, and then we, Heath and I, ended up really, really clicking with Scott and Todd. We were there, like they were, they were so much fun to be around. They were just like us. We had the same humor, so we would hang out with them every day. We'd make vines, whatever, and we ended up, we ended up meeting David at the same time. David, he was visiting from Chicago. He ended up meeting with Heath and I. We were like the first viners he met, and um, we really clicked. We started like vining, hanging out, and we all ended up like living together. Oh, no uh, way. Like got- a year later. Uh, me, Scott, Todd, Heath, and Elton. Um, and David would come over all the time. We'd all film. And that's how we started, like, filming his, like, YouTube, his, his vlogs. And it, and it just kind of, like, took off from there. What was, because you said, like, I can't look at the camera do it myself. How creative was that, like, inspiring to be with other guys who are funny and talented and doing it together it, every day? It was, it was so much, it, it was, like, you got to wake up. It like didn't feel like a job. You woke up. You you like we'd all run into like we were like kids. We'd run into each other's rooms. We like it was almost like you're, you're, it was almost like you were like a fucking twelve year old sleeping at your friend's house like for the first time. Like but it was like that every day. And you know it was like it was like life kind of started again. You know like when you're meeting these new people, you're doing like you're doing something completely new, like something that you were never doing as a child and. Now you're all you're doing it with like the funniest people mm-hmm. ever in this city, in this brand new city. Sorry, I'm like sounding so super right now. In Why? this brand new city, and um, and it was like, yeah, it was just so new, and it felt so authentic, and it felt and it felt good. It felt really good just being with these guys and filming and having fun and going out and just experiencing all this, all this, all this different type of shit, and um, and yeah. And now we're still here. We're still friends. We're all still hanging out every day. And and yeah, it's it's really good. Life's really good. It's crazy. And I was watching um, your, and I think you did too, where you were reacting to old Vine videos. Yeah. And like I was, some of the comments you, you guys were like talking about making Vines. Uh-huh. And you're like, oh, I remember that one. That took three hours to get the lighting right. Yeah. It took, I, people don't realize like, even though it's a little clip, how yeah. much goes into it. Like what was your creative creative process for, for vine for, for vine. vine yeah you're out here making vines it like, was what was it like it was pretty like it got to the point where he thought like heath and i got really like picky with with vines and you know what i'd say i was more picky because i heath and i would i would get into like these picky little fights with heath and it was not heath it was me like i got like really just because like it got to the point where we wanted to make sure every vine was perfect you yeah. know and uh so so um yeah, no, we got really, it wasn't really lighting. It was more just like editing and getting the shot right. And um, cause it got to the point where we got to edit like each Vine, like, because remember Vine used to be so authentic, like you would get out of film on the spot yeah, yeah. and whatever happened, whatever, how, whatever, however it looks, it just, that's what it's gonna look like. Yeah. You gotta post it. So uh, when it came to editing and it came down to like really get, putting it together, it was, it did, it, I did get like kind of crazy. But it worked. It worked. You know, we had like the, here. the best vines. We had like really good stuff, and and Heath was great. Heath was so funny. Like Heath was when it got down to like character and getting the scene like right, the way it looked, the way like it was like performed. Heath was like fucking incredible. So we were like a really good team. Like it was like almost like character editing, like that together was like a really good attention duo. to detail. Yeah, kind of the comedy thing. Yeah, and, and like. I, that together just it really kind of blew up our Vine channel. It was like a good team. So they um a, like some Viners kind of got a peek ahead and knew Vine was dying and then kind of got the jump on YouTube and kind of yeah. So, but then oh some my people God. like was, I, I talked to Jason. Jason's like fuck no man. I just 
found out one point the blind was done. I'm like, fuck, what am I gonna do now? And we and we're was all in the, the we deal? were all in the same boat. Like it was crazy. Like this vine ship was sinking, and this like little pl- like little platform like where not a lot of people could like fit on was like o- the only thing out from the ocean. I felt like a lot of people like kind of sank with vine because it was it was really hard to fucking figure it out. And you know, thank God David was there like filming vlogs while it was happening because. I honestly do not know where we'd be right now. Like, because I'd honestly be back in Florida. I'd be back doing were, what were I was doing. Were you worried that like, fuck, what am I gonna do? I might have to yeah. go back to Florida. Well, yeah, because I, because Heath, like, Heath and I were only posting Vines and that's it. We weren't posting anywhere else. We tried, po- I tried posting on like Facebook. I tried posting, I tried doing YouTube and it just wasn't like, it wasn't sticking. And, um, but like we found ourselves doing really well performing on David's vlog. It was really easy to like just be funny and be ourselves with somebody else filming. And you know, we never really had that because usually Vine, you have to like do everything yourself. Mm-hmm. And, but when there's like a camera there, it was almost like a reality TV show. You don't have to really worry about it. You got to just be yourself and somebody else did the filming and editing for you. So that was really, that was really cool to like experience too. But like that, that, that transfer from Vine to YouTube, that was, I, I'd say that was really, we were really lucky. And I'm really grateful for that. And I'm sure we all are too. How'd, yeah. how'd the money work though? So you're getting, you're making money off Vine, Vine's gone, you're doing David's deal. Yeah. But are you still getting paid? Like how did that all work? No, no, yeah, we were, um, so obviously we're, whatever we were doing for David's law, it was all for free. Yeah. And, you know, we all wanted to help each other out. We wanted to help him out. But it got to the point where we're like, oh damn, like we, what do we do? we're not, we're not like, we're not getting jobs. We're not making <laughs> we money. money. What do we yeah, do? Yeah. Like we can't, David, like we get it. We can't, we, we want to keep helping you out, but we, we're, we can't, you're not gonna have anybody in the videos if we don't do something, <laughs> so because we're gonna have to move back home. So we all ended up uh, making channels, um, and we we got we got the we got the um, we got uh, the what's the word? I guess the uh, we got the flow of it really quickly. Like mm-hmm. we were able to like post, and we were able to make it authentic. We were having fun doing it when we uh, started YouTube videos. So that was like really cool. That was really good. Um, but that happened really quickly. We all made our own channels. We started posting. We tried our hardest to make it feel different mm-hmm. from each other because obviously we don't want to have the same style as David. Sure. But it ended up being the same style as David's <laughs> because that's yeah. we're we're so because um we started we started posting YouTube videos uh, what a year and a half after David okay. was posting regularly. So we were only used to seeing videos like David because we weren't watching anybody else's videos. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't, I know that for sure. So it ended up being kind of David's style. And I remember, I remember uh, David saying this like a long time after we started, but he, um, he was saying that he would, the reason why he didn't want us to make uh, YouTube videos solely because he didn't want like the characters of his vlogs to kind of like lose, lose track, you know, like, because there was a track that, like, we all had a certain track in his videos, like mm-hmm. a certain live track. Yeah. And he was worried that our videos were going to kind of, like, uh, show a different side of you, maybe. Show a different side yeah. of us. And, but, like, at the same time, we we're kind of like, it'd be cool for people to see, like, different sides of us. At the end of the day, you guys are all pretty authentic. Yeah. I mean, the guy I just talked to before we started is the same uh-huh. guy sitting here now. Yeah. And it is. You're not as amped up as the guy on the vlogs, but it's, exactly. just, it's just basically you with more energy. Exactly, right? yeah. And, it, it, you know, when David has his camera out, like, automatically your body just wants to be more energetic. That's just how it is. We've been like that for the past three years now. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's funny to, to see that still happening today. David, I interviewed him, and I interrupted him so fucking much. I watched it, and it was literally cringy. And I, was, I look back, I go, what the fuck was I doing? And I... David has so much energy and he's just like rapid fire talking stuff. You yeah. like, I felt like I had to keep up. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like all jacked up like he is and we're cutting each other off. Yeah, no, his brain, his brain works differently. His is brain he is always just like, like that? Yeah, yeah, he's always like that. Like I don't, I don't even really consider him like the rest of us. He's just like, he's a fucking machine. He, like the way he thinks, the way he's like putting shit together for the videos, like we all constantly look at each other. We're just like, Fucking like what he does in one day is what I do for my hundred hundred videos. Like whatever yeah. hundred video, I do something crazy. Yeah. He's doing that shit every like every other day. So like it's just it's just really funny to me. But like everything that he has, all the success he, that he has, all the fans, all the views, it's 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 crazy. It's cr- he's he's worked so hard for it, and I feel like he doesn't ha- he doesn't have enough. Like what like, do you mean? Just based on um, the work. 
Based on the work, like, I feel like he should have a lot more with how much he's working because he works his fucking ass off. Yeah. He really does. So I, he, I feel like he does deserve a little bit more than what he... Than what he I don't, does that make sense? No, it does. He's For all the work he, he's yeah. done, he should yeah. have even I'm more. I'm saying this in a good way. I don't know how it's sounding, no, but like, I, in I a good you. way, I feel like he... He he should have a lot more than what he has. Yeah, yeah because he he's does putting work in the him. hours. Yeah, he does. He he puts in a lot of fucking work. None how of us can do that. How do you avoid burnout? Like, how do you does burnout? It, yeah, like, do you eventually burn out and go, man, I fucking need a week off. I'm tired of this. No, or no, I do not take credit for like I I I want it. I I wish I could burn out because I want like it's it's so hard to come up with fucking ideas and it's so hard to like because I I do want to film every day. I, yeah. If I could post every day, I would. Your fans, just, I'm sure, would want you to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just I just can't come up with shit. It's just so hard and and I I find myself enjoying being in other like in like David's videos more than like honestly trying to come up with an idea and filming on my own. You it's probably know, probably easier, right? It, it is easier, but like I, I, I tend myself having more fun doing it. Like you know, he has all the, he does all these experiments, all these like funny bits, and I just find myself having more fun doing, doing that shit. And so, like I wish I got burned out being in other people's videos. Like I, I want, I, I want to be every night. I want to be like I'm exhausted after filming all day. You know? Yeah. Like I wish I could. I, I, I wish I could burn out. Honestly. How do you? Because you've been doing this for a while now, going yeah. back to Vine. Yeah. That's a different format because mm -hmm. it's quicker than YouTube and stuff. Yeah. But you still have that kind of Vine mentality where quick cuts, quick, quick, yeah. quick, quick, quick. I'll always have that mentality. Like I'll never, like I can never just film a video and like not, not really edit it and post it. Like I, it would, I, it's like it's like uploading a raw file. Like I just, yeah, you could I, never. I could never do that. Yeah, I'd rather just not post. Like I, I just. I couldn't do that. So yeah, I, I do have that vibe mentality. We all do though. We all, I feel like we're really, we're pretty um, picky with our cuts. Yeah. Because we've all, we're all Viners. We're all like really picky Viners. Yeah. We were all in the same boat. So it, I think, I don't think we'll ever not be like that. What's like, what's the future? What's, I mean, you got a podcast you're focusing on now yeah. too. Are, are, do you guys look to like, Shit, when we're 40, do we want to still be vlogging? Like, what does that look like? Do you think that far ahead or no? You're um, just kind of enjoying what you're doing now. No, I don't think, I don't like to think that far ahead, no. honestly, because it's it's scary to think that far ahead. You're like, <laughs> fuck, I'm going to do YouTube when I'm 45. What am I going to do? Yeah, I, yeah. I'd rather not think about that. Okay, all right. Just, rather, I'd rather focus in the present on what me and my friends are doing, what me and Heath are doing. Yeah. Just really just be in the moment, have fun, um, try to figure out new ways where you can, like, um, Figure out new ways to create content mm -hmm. and be different, and and that's it. It and seems too like we're having all you guys kind of as a group, and the vlog squad is such an interesting concept to me because yeah. it's like not a set thing. Yeah, you know, it's not like the Wu Tang with clan with whatever ten members or yeah. whatever the fuck they got. Right? Uh -huh. There's people coming and going. There's kind of a core group. There's kind of an outsider group. Yeah. There's also like a celebrity angle, like John Stamos is in yeah. the mix sometimes. Yeah. Like a see a vlog squad member. It's, it's really, it's crazy. It's really, it's it's fucked up to yeah. think to think it like think all think about all those branches in our friend group. It's it's so weird. It's cool. Yeah. And it seems like it's creative too because it seems like one person will do one thing and you guys are kind of like, oh, that's cool, that's working. Let me try like podcasts. Yeah. Everybody's got a podcast now uh -huh. pretty much, right? Yeah. Do you guys look at each other like, oh, that's cool what Dave and Jason are doing. Maybe me and Heath could do something similar. Do you guys look at it like that? When we all do it, it's never a competition. Like we always it's support not. each other. No, it's not. We always su support each other. We, um, we, and Heath and I also see it, see it as another form of like, you know, talking to our fans because we don't like Heath and I. We used to do this. We used to do this thing called coffee talk, where we'd get in his truck and we'd go get coffee and we'd rant about shit. And we don't really do that anymore. And we feel like I don't know. We've been feeling restricted on YouTube lately, what? which you know, I mean, just I don't know. We, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like because we're like that a lot off camera, mm -hmm. but like on camera for some reason it's just it hasn't been like that when it comes to our YouTube videos. So we we thought maybe let's try a podcast. Maybe we can like get into our groove again because we've been kind of because we're, the way we are, we're like that off camera all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's always annoying because the camera's not on. Fuck, yeah. like people don't understand that we're still like this. So we're like, you know what? Let's start a podcast. We have an hour to sit on the couch and really just be ourselves. And so we've been doing that, and I feel like we've we've really you enjoyed got your it. magic back. We it's we're not there yet because obviously this is so podcasting is so I new know. to us. But we'll get there. I feel like. After like ten more episodes, we're gonna like it's gonna be like it's gonna be like nothing. And uh, you guys are so talented. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, Knock I, on wood. I don't want to yeah, jinx yeah, you. You know what I mean? In the podcast, yeah, I know. Just out. I, yeah, I know. But I do. I, I it, it it is difficult. It is difficult to um 
kind of get into the flow of that, like that world, that podcast world. But but we'll get there. And but I, all I know is that we're having so much fun doing it. We're laughing. We're we're it's it's a good time. So that's, that's key. Yeah. You mentioned too, like being funny off camera. Like shit, we got to get it on camera. You yeah, know, dude. it's a waste being funny off camera. Fuck, dude. And I know that makes me what a so, waste. Heath and I are so fu- like Heath, me, Mariah, Matt. We're all so fucking funny off camera. And it's sad that we don't catch it. We never capture it, and we're not good at turning on our camera and capturing it. It's a like different that. thing. It is it's more it is. pressure. Exactly. And you know what? That's most people. There's so many funny people in this world, and. Obviously, people don't see it because they don't catch it on camera and they're not able to catch it after. <laughs> we're the same, we're the same way. We're not good at capturing it. So when we when we pull out our camera, we start vlogging, it's hard to kind of like be funny just out of all of a sudden on camera. Yeah, you're ready. Go be it, funny. Exactly. It, exactly. You can't do that. So we gotta we gotta learn to be we gotta learn to start capturing it. And if we do miss it, we gotta learn to start capturing it fucking on command. It's funny, <laughs> and I have it on the card. I was gonna yeah. ask you, who's the funniest off camera? When the camera's off, who's the one Jason. that cracks up everybody? Jason. Jason, oh, you didn't even hesitate. Yeah, no, Jason. Jason is the funniest guy. He's the sweetest guy, the funniest guy. There's really nothing bad about that guy. Yeah. Nothing. He, he's the best guy ever. And he's so funny, so sweet. I've already said that. But yeah, no, he's, he's, uh, he's he seemed like a good dude. I met yeah. him once. No, he's, he's, he's hilarious. He asked who the, fun, the funniest guy was, I think he is. No kidding. Yeah. And he does like stand. He does stand up shows. He's so funny on like he's just really good on the spot. Improv, everything. He's yeah. really good. Like total package. Total package. Yeah. You think he's, he's the really funniest good. on camera too? Yeah. He's, yeah. He's hilarious. Yeah. He's he's like the, the, he, that's why he's the main star of David's vlogs because he's like he can really just bring he brings it every time. Yeah. He knows he knows exactly what to do when a certain situation is happening or what to say. He can like he's the go to guy. If you need to laugh, you can always go to Jason. Yeah. Like, yeah. if there's five seconds left, you're passing him the ball. Yeah. He's the guy. He is. That's he is the cool. Guy. Matt, and Matt, Matt's hilarious, too. Everybody, everybody's, everybody's, fun, everybody's funny. Everybody's funny in their own way. Yeah, like yeah. They just know how to... They know when to bring it whenever whenever something's happening. You can, know? You it's can't like teach con- that, can you? No. I don't think you... I mean... No. No, I don't think you can. I think it's like finding the right people. It's finding, it's finding the right people that have your sense of humor. Like, our friend group, like, we all have the same exact sense of humor. Like, we all know exactly what's, like... Funny to us, at least. Not what's funny, because what's funny is obviously like everybody has their own funny. But yeah, we all have our <laughs> certain funny that we yeah. that we that we we're just good at. And we know. So Do you, I, I read or I saw the Travis Mills interview. Everybody check out that. That was really good. Yeah, really Hopefully good. Hopefully this is as good as Travis's. I don't know. Hopefully, what do you think? I don't know. Hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's pray it's let's pray it's better. It'll get, let's hope it gets better, right? <laughs> um, but you were saying like it seemed like a natural progression for you to do stand-up comedy. Yeah. Jason's kind of doing it now. You're obviously mm-hmm. funny. But you were saying like I could never prepare for that. I could never remember what I said last night that was funny. Yeah. Do you think you could do it? Um for for like a you're talking about a stand-up show. Sorry. Open it for Jason, oh, yeah, yeah. Or something. No. I could um, never do that. No? Never do that. Really? Because, I, I have a hard time memorizing shit. Like when I have like when I want to like deliver a joke. It takes me like a couple of tries to like get it out. So doing like a live stand-up show like that, Heath and I could, I, I think Heath and I could do like a podcast style as a tour, like kind of like what David and Jason did. But what kind yeah. of David, what, what David and Jason did was kind of like stand-up show type mm-hmm. of podcast yeah. type of shit. But I, I feel like Heath and I could do a podcast but when it comes to stand-up and like delivering jokes and like not stuttering. Take me out of the equation. I cannot do that shit. Because I'm just like, I, it takes me like it just takes me a little longer to process shit in mm-hmm. my head. I'm just like I don't know what's wrong with me. This is just how I am. <laughs> this is how I was born. I don't know. It's probably all the drinking, to be completely honest. But <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see when it comes down when it comes down to uh, when it comes time to do like a live show with Heath. We'll see how it is. We'll 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 definitely do like practice yeah, sessions yeah, 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 where yeah. we'll like probably put our group of friends out. Yeah, and see how we perform. <laughs> but other than that, we'll. Uh, We'll see. Yeah. You guys are always fucking with. I'm sure like there would be mad shit talking too if it was just an empty theater and like all your friends like sitting yeah. there judging you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah. That'd probably dude. be harder than a normal crowd. Oh, dude. oh no, no, no. Our my yeah, no, my friends are would be the worst to do it. Like I I would find myself this most nervous if I was performing in front of my friends. Cause we are so like judge <laughs> we're so judgmental to each other, but like not in a bad way, but in like a good way. Mm-hmm. But I think that could be that that's it's bad at the same time because we're just so honest with each other. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, that that is that's really scary being in front of our friends doing shit like that. But like being in front of like our fans and people that watch us, yeah, yeah. it's like 
I'm I'm not I'm not really nervous when it comes to like that. I'm like really I'm like so I'm I'm really I'm really um uh confident and I'm really like myself when I'm like around like my fans and viewers. Yeah. When it comes to it seems like that'd be a natural like Noel Miller and Cody ha- did the similar thing too, like a yeah. podcast kind of mm-hmm. tour thing. Well, you guys really should do that. I mean, your fans would love it. Yeah, I, it's I've intimate. Never, I, I, you I don't it. know. I mean, I don't know what they do. I don't think I've never seen their uh, show mm-hmm. or like live show. I'm sure it's hilarious. Yeah, I, I, they're, I'm big fans of them. But um, no, I would, what, what are they, is it just kind of like what David and Jason do? Is it Same kind of like, thing. Yeah, sit yeah. down, talk, get up, do like little yeah. bits and shit. Yeah, but they yeah, haven't like worked out, so it's not. There's planned bits. They're going to do the same yeah. one. Yeah, they, well, kind Chicago, of. What they, they, yeah, one. David and Jason do the same thing. It's, they plan it out. They write it all. They follow the script on let's something funny happens on stage and they kind of go that route. But yeah, yeah, no, I, I think Heath and I can do that. We just, I, just, I myself need a lot of practice. <laughs> I know Heath can. I know Heath can. You think do he it. can I do just, it? No problem. Yeah, Heath can do it. No problem. I need, I need a little practice. to yeah. get to get to a point where like I'm comfortable and I, I can do that shit effortlessly. Yeah, and, it's gonna be yeah. scary too. Oh yeah. For me, especially because, dude, my biggest fear in my, my ch- throughout my childhood and in school was presenting in front of the class. Right. That was like the worst thing for me to do because mm-hmm. I would just forget shit. I would stutter. I would get fucking nervous. I'll start sweating, and then I would like get into a meltdown where like I gotta stop. And I was like, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm just gonna go sit down. I'll just sit down. I'm like, yeah, it's 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 bad. It's bad. Like doing like interviews like this, I'm just like I find myself not good at it at all. I think I'm you're just, doing great. Are you, you, think you doing are you great? nervous? I'm oh yeah, fuck, I'm always nervous. I'm, I, I don't know. You're just talking. Mean, it's, it's just two me. people talking, but I know, but it's it, not though, because there's cameras and Yeah, that's just that's just me though. That's just yeah. me. That's just that's my I think is I think it's this whole like just I'm just so insecure about the way I'm presenting myself. Okay. Like I I'm like I'm always like I, I obviously want to present myself in the most authentic way, the best way, the best uh, the best me I can be. Yeah. But sometimes I'm just, I just feel like I'm not saying shit right or I don't know. Do you think you're overly hard on yourself? Is that That's, the expectation so yes, high? Yes, and everybody says that about me. I'm very hard on myself. I'm very, very like picky with what I put out and what I say, and yeah. So how do you deal with? Every, I mean, you guys always fuck with each other. Yeah, we always. You have fuck. to have pretty thick skin. Of course, yeah. yeah you can't no, take it personally. Really thick skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we we're all very brutal with each other when it comes up. But like you know, obviously in an in a pro in a yeah, yeah. in an appropriate way. But no, I mean, but we all know it's it's we're we're kidding in the end. Yeah. No one's ever serious when we're like saying shit to each other. And I think that's really important. Like, when people are making jokes these days, you just gotta like fucking just take it. It's it take it as a joke, not a fucking serious thing. And it's hard times to be a comedian. I know it is. It is a hard time to be a like. I feel bad for stand up comedians these days. Did you like, watch the new Chappelle? Oh uh, yeah, I watched it. And like I, the first, the first fifteen minutes was kind of tough. I mean, he went was, fucking balls he, out. He did. I mean, I mean, I'm not but gonna people lie. People ripped him. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I laughed. I thought, yeah. I thought it was fucking hilarious. And you know, I mean, but then again, people take shit differently. People are like obviously triggered depending on what has happened in their life. They're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. get triggered by like certain shit like that. But you know, you can't be mad at somebody for laughing at that. I it's, know. it's, it's just, it's funny. It's, it was. Plus, at the end of the day, you guys aren't mean spirited. You're not taking on political issues. You're just fucking with each other. Yeah, yeah, we're just fucking with each other. Which is what people want to see. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, and that's, yeah, and that's it. And that's all I have to say about that. It's just. Shit. Okay, I think we covered everything. So I got some. (laughs) We covered everything. I don't know. What else do you want to talk about? What do we got? Um, We talked about growing up. We talked about Vine. Yeah. We talked about about your career. Yeah. Um, What what else? else? (sighs) What else? That's. What else is going on in Zane's world? Oh, how about this? Were you pissed that Heath got a Lambo and no. you didn't? No, 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 I'd no. Be I was serious. No, no, I wasn't. No, I was so like. Here's the thing, like, like, like for if anybody was gonna get a Lamborghini, yeah. it would be Heath. Why? Because he's fuck. He's in love with supercars. He's in love uh, with fast cars like yeah. that. I like. I love. I love like like the Urus. I love SUVs. I love Jeeps. I love the like. I I, I saw a Lamborghini Urus like. It's sick. Uh, like, uh, what is it? Like last year mm-hmm. or whenever it came out, I, I I remember being inside it and I loved it. But like immediately walked down, like it's a, I can't like I can't, there's no way I can afford this. I can't yeah. do it. But I I was in love with it. I loved it. It was such a cool car. And but Heath is in love with fucking cars. He's oh, been he? in love with the cars all his life. If David got me that Lamborghini, I would. Everybody would be like, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. Okay. It just wouldn't make sense. And like people would be like. Heath is right there. Yeah. Like, Heath is in love with supercars. And you're going to get on a Lamborghini. 
So no, it made complete sense that he got it. We all freaked out because we're like, this is gonna fucking. This Were you is part gonna of it? Like, attack. did you guys know before he did it? Like, was no, everybody no, in no. When secret? David, when David surprises any of us with something, it's a surprise for everybody. Uh, everybody gets surprised with it because he because I I feel like the surprise is us seeing what that person is getting surprised yeah, with because yeah, it's yeah. it's always like it's always crazy. It's always like fucking like he got a Lamborghini. Like, why would you want to tell anybody that he, you're getting a Lamborghini? Why when you could just surprise everybody? Yeah. So no, I I'm. Because you know what? That Lamborghini is mine too. I get to ride in that all the time. I get to enjoy it too. So no, I'm so happy for him. Like I'm really happy he got that Lamborghini. How stoked it's like, was he? I mean, talk about the present. He, fucking, yeah, did he see the reaction he oh, gave? Yeah. He was fucking, he was crying. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen him cry like that in no. my entire life. Yeah. And I've been around, I've been around him around dark town, around dark town. Around, like, <laughs> and I have never seen him cry like that. So like that's fucking, yeah, no, that was like a huge deal for him. And I like Fuck, he deserves yeah. that. He deserves that car. Like, yeah. you know, he's gonna take care of it. He's gonna. I feel like he's. I mean, obviously he got that car for free, but he worked for that car. He 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 deserves that. Just like what you said about David, he put exactly. in the work. He deserves that. Yeah. At a minimum. Yeah, yeah, and I know David gave him that car. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, David doesn't deserve that car. He thought it was David's car, but no, he. Uh, yeah. Nah, it's good to see you guys all successful too, yeah. and still killing it. And we're promoting your vlog, yeah. right? We're promoting podcast. YouTube channel, podcast. Um. I'm pr- promoting Vlog Squad. Pro- just promote the group, you know? Just Why pr- not? Pr- promote everybody. Follow everybody. Follow all the Vlog Squad. And I don't know exactly who's in the who's in the group, but just look up Famous Birthdays Vlog Squad, and I'm sure you'll find it in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a uh, shout-out to the Reddit. You guys have subreddits on there. David Dobrik and Vlog Squad subreddit. I don't know if you ever on Reddit. but I'm never on Reddit. I, I wasn't really much either, but I'm like— I reached out on Twitter to get questions, yeah. and no one really reached out because I don't have a huge following. But then I went and read it and did it, and fucking your fans are so crazy over there. They on give me Reddit, yeah, they give me great questions. Oh my, okay, yeah, so, so check I need to go out. on Reddit. Go on Reddit, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. First question: Who, what, where, when, why, and how? <laughs> they got that from one of our videos. Heath and I just—it was like a little—it was like a little bit where just like if somebody, if you see somebody, if if you if. Uh, if your boyfriend or girlfriend catches you cheating on somebody, um, then what do you say? You say you tell them who, what, when, where, why, and how. If they can't answer all of those six questions, then then you didn't cheat, <laughs> which is so stupid. I mean, I do not, I I do not like cheating. I, I am not a fan of cheating at all. But I just thought it was really funny too. Uh, um, How's life now that Todd gave up your room for rent? Um, he has not given up my room for oh, rent. Oh, he has I'm, not. I'm still up Fake there. Fake news. Okay. Fake news. I'm still up there. We're still friends. Me and Todd are still friends. Okay. You know, we um, we did get into a couple fist fights in between, but hey, everything's good. And okay. We, oh, happy times. Yeah, happy times. Okay. I'm kidding. We didn't get into a fist fight. It was, it's it's funny. It was like that whole thing was just a bit. It was just like a. It, Maybe people take that shit seriously. Yeah, though. and and I don't know. Like me and Todd, we like we just have this relationship where like that shit is just it, like we he knew we were filming like that. If that if we were all out and it just happened, mm-hmm. then that's ser- that's a serious problem. Like that like that's <laughs> fucked up. That he could hate me all he wants. Like that is like he deserves every right to. But like yeah. we were film. It was like when we when we film for a bit. Like and it's a bit specifically a bit. Like we we all respect that. It's like. Obviously, it's like it's like you're in a movie. It's like you're acting in a movie. Like whatever you're doing, it's not real. You're just performing a bit, and you're trying to execute a bit, and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. It's really, it's really it. It all depends. Half the times it's authentic, and half the times it's like a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. But it's fun. It's fun. We try to make it like as funny as possible. If we're, if like if me and Corinne are, if me and Corinne are going to do something like that, yeah. we got to make sure it's funny. It like works. You yeah. know? So um, so yeah. What was planned for the 200th vlog that ended up not being finished in time? You mentioned that. Somebody cited, like, in a video, you mentioned that. It, something wasn't finished Something in time. wasn't finished in time for your 200th vlog. Oh. Uh, didn't make it. If you don't remember, we can say fuck that question. I, I did. I mean, I did film this whole another section of the, of the Met Gala intro, and I really wanted to put it in the end, but— we weren't able to get rights for the song that I wanted to use. What did you want to use? I forget oh, okay. what the song it was. I don't remember the song. It's hard to. And I don't get even that. remember what the song sounded like. <laughs> I just remember that I couldn't get rights to it, and the the song specifically would have taken down my video if it went up. Uh, it would have deleted my video. Okay. So I couldn't. I couldn't even put that portion of the video up, oh, which okay. kind of sucks. 
And I I never even started to edit it. I, I filmed it with that song. Mm -hmm. So there was no point of editing it because I could never really release it. Oh, I got I could have released it on like Instagram or something, but I didn't think about that when I was doing it. How much of the content is natural versus scripted? Um, uh, my content? Yeah. My con it's mainly, it's, it's all mainly natural. Oh, no kidding? Yeah, where it's not, yeah, yeah, no, it's not set up, yeah. Oh, okay. I'd say most of my, most of my stuff is natural. If there's ever, I feel like I used to do a lot of set bits back mm -hmm. when I first started, but I don't really do that anymore. Okay. I just kind of like, I find, like, I'm, I think I'm able to just be funnier when it's authentic it's natural. instead of like a scripted bit. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'd, I'd say 99% at this point is natural. Uh, natural. Okay. What Vlog Squad member has the best podcast? I, I think Views does. Yeah? Views, yeah. I, I really enjoy it. I think I think they flow very well. Um I know behind the scenes they're very they're very strict with what they want on there and off and like they edit it in a very certain way. So I, I feel like that. you know they they I feel like they really care about what how they set it up and to me that's that means Well you gotta step your game they, up. You don't even say your own podcast. Well I mean I <laughs> uh, you're I'm being honest. I like that. Yeah, that I, mean, I think right answer. now, I think right now, views uh, views is the best. But watch out for you guys. But watch out Coming for up. us. Exactly. Watch out for us. Who's the most attractive female vlog squad member? Um, it's like asking which one of your sisters is the best looking. Yeah, is that um, how you look at? Is that how you look at kinda, them all? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's kind of like, um, who's the best looking? I'd say, I'd say Natalie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't say that quicker. Yeah. I was really thinking of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it shows you I went started the from the, I started from the, end, the other end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. and then I was like, oh, Natalie. Yeah, yeah, Natalie. Oh, all right, can't forget yeah. about Natalie, all right? Yeah. What happened with Matt and Miranda? Matt and Miranda. Oh, Matt and Miranda. Miranda, sorry. Yeah. Um, that, that happened, so, it was like so quick, where yeah. it was like, it popped, People wanted nothing to ever happened. Oh, nothing after ever that happened? No, after that day, it just, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That's it. It was, it, it was like, yeah, it was quicker than everybody thought. Oh, but Matt okay. kind of made a joke out of it uh, on a couple like Instagram yeah, yeah. Uh, stories and shit. But no, it, it really ended that day. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's all we got, man. That's all we got. That's all we got. Woo. Thank you so much. How was it? It wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Just two guys talking. Yeah. That's it. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I had fun. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you so it. much. Thank you, for Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Who do we got? I got Tana's manager, Jordan Morona, next week. Oh. He's awesome. He managed, Good luck, he, fucking, he, if Tana shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did Tana twice. Are you, are you going to her house? I don't know where we're going to do it. You, should, you should probably try to schedule where you go to her house. I haven't been to the new... Does she live with Jake? What's the fuck's going on with the oh, whole thing? Oh, I have no idea. What's her new house? I went to her old one in that was by Runyon, kind of. Her uh, old apartment. I yeah, I don't know where she... I don't never I don't been, I've never been to her house. But. I don't know. I'm sure it's fun. <laughs> Let's just say you're not gonna have a podcast on the next week. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, last time we did her, I rented a place to do it, and we're there. Rocky is there. We're all set up, and yeah. then it's like 15 minutes after she's supposed to be there. I text her. I'm like, "Where are you?" And then she called me. You know, yeah. people don't call anymore. So she calls me. Yeah. She's like, "Wait, do you still want me there?" I'm like, at, "I'm in Hollywood." I go. Fuck yeah, I want you here. We got a whole people sitting fucking waiting for it's you. It's funny. No, I mean that's yo, know, that's Santa's brain. Like you, if you if you're gonna meet up with Tana and you're gonna get pissed that she's late, that's your fault. Because at this point, this is her. This is what she does. Yes. So it's like you can't really be mad at her anymore. That's just I mean, because I'm like that too. I'm or I'm, I'm I'm pretty I'm kind of late to shit a okay. lot. Okay. So I get it. I get I get what what. I get why oh, she's late all the time. I you're just, just heard this is lazy. It's just like laziness. It's just like fuck. Yeah. But. And that's it. So we that's got it. Jordan. Who else we got? Uh, I don't know. Just subscribe. Watch. We got good ones coming up. Yeah. Oh, your podcast your is with Jordan or Tana? With Jordan. I did oh, Tana Jordan. twice. But Jordan's interesting because I want to hear the behind the scenes story of oh. Tana and Trisha and all the other people he oh, manages. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. So okay. that should be good. Yeah. So we okay. got him next week. And then cool. I don't know who next. Perfect. Yeah. But right. thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Cool. You have a good day. Bye. Good week. Bye. <laughs>